welcome back to my channel and apologies for not being around for a while. Right, this week I'm going to do a sketch on an Intuos tablet that my son bought second hand. So this is the pen that you draw on the tablet with and it's got a nib which is kind of, I'm not sure what it's made of but it feels like plastic but I'm sure it's something that uh, is not plastic. And with the interest tablet you have some spare nibs in the back which are in this little compartment here and you get three spare nibs. They do wear down, people don't realise that but they do. So you've got three spare ones. So although this is a second hand one, the nib that's actually in the pen is fine and there are still three spare ones. So I don't think it's been used a great deal. So you simply plug it into your computer and if you've never used one before then you may have to download the drivers which you can get from the Wacom site and you draw on the tablet. Now you draw on the tablet but it comes out on the screen of your computer so you're not drawing directly onto the screen that you're looking at so you have to get used to that but it's quite easy. Now I'm just launching the program I have called Art Rage, which actually came with my Intuos tablet. These tablets are made by a company called Wacom and they're the Wacom Intuos and I have the Wacom Intuos Draw and this one is the Wacom Intuos Pen. I think it's an earlier version than mine but they're all very similar and they are a very good starting point if you want to try out drawing on a tablet. You can use them to draw in programs like Photoshop, um, ArtRage, Corel Draw, any drawing program will work. And what I've done with this ArtRage one, I, if you look in the right hand corner you see something that says Trace and I opened a file that has a photograph that I wanted to trace and the photograph won't come out in the end as you'll see later on. There I've turned the photo off. So you can turn the opacity of the photo that you're tracing up and down and you just trace the outline. I just wanted to do something quite quick so I didn't want to spend a lot of time actually drawing something for this demonstration so that's why I've used tracing a photo and I'm just colouring it in in black and white. You can use colour, you can use all sorts of different things. Um, you can make it into an oil look, oil painting, so it looks like an oil painting or it looks like a watercolour, looks like a pencil sketch, um, a pen and ink drawing. It's, it's very versatile. And of course, if you use a tablet, then you don't have to carry all these tools around with you, just your computer and your tablet. So you don't have to, carry all those art materials. So I'm coming in here and just putting some colour in. When I say colour I mean actually filling in because I'm not using colour I'm just doing it in black and white. And I have speeded this up. It did take me considerably longer than this. But you can also paint on different layers so that you could do your drawing on one layer and then if you didn't like something in it you can rub that out and it won't erase what's on other layers. Or you could do the drawing on one layer then you take another layer and you do the actual filling in and then at the end you could erase the drawing altogether and just have what's filled in on top. So it is quite useful to keep using different layers. I think here I've got three layers. I'm just adding some shadows here. And you can dispose of a complete layer. You don't have to just erase bits of it. If you want the whole layer gone, it can go. And you can soften edges. The 
because I was doing this quite fast, I, I did make a mess of the shape of his eyes, so I kept coming back and trying to correct that. You can see here. And I am doing different shadings on different layers. It's definitely a different technique to actually drawing on paper. I still think I will always prefer drawing on paper. And I haven't done a great deal of drawing on tablets, so I'm still quite a novice and it does take getting used to. I think I've now got used to actually not drawing on the thing that I'm looking at but I still find that my lines don't do exactly what I want them to do but it will come with practice this tablet works just the same as mine there's no difference and I think my son paid under £20 for this second-hand tablet. So, you know, if you're interested in having a go at digital drawing, then this is probably the way to go. And then if you find you really like it, then you can invest in a more expensive model. And you can also use it as a, a mouse pad. So that's quite handy. And you can use it for enhancing things on your photographs. It doesn't have to just be drawing. And with this program, Art Rage, you have lots of different tools. You have paintbrushes and pens and erasers and all sorts of things. So it is, and, and it, you can also change the size of your nibs or brushes and the softness and hardness. So it's quite a versatile program. But I think any drawing program probably does the same. And like all things, I need to get more used to using it so that I could make a better job of it. And you save it as a digital file and you can then print it off. And it prints off quite nicely. It does flatten a little bit, but I suspect that depend is dependent upon which printer you have. But on a normal inkjet printer, it does flatten it a little bit. So I hope you've enjoyed my video today and that you will join me next week. Take care, stay safe, stay well. See you next time. Bye.